Hey, what's up, Twitch? YouTube? It's your favorite general Xbox frequency. Here bringing you a little risk game. Four player. So, I haven't even seen on blue here. It's on green to act. So I'm last act here amongst all uh, my opponents. Oh my god, Red's almost got Australia. I think I gotta go for Africa here. Oh my gosh, look at that starting position in Australia. Whoa, Nelly. Oh my god, he's gonna get it first turn. Wow. What a starting position. That's why manual is pretty good. I don't, the funny thing is I never play manual because it takes so long. But honestly, manual is fun. Actually, that's that's probably something I should do. I should play more manual games. Because then it's, it's real legit. Manual's legit. Wow, look at that. Strong Australia off the, off the first turn. Wow. Wow, nine defending Australia off the bat. That's madness. Okay, I don't know, maybe White's thinking Europe here. Maybe he's singing South America. Wow, he loses them all. Maybe he's just going to go for his card. I don't know why he doesn't just do 6 on 1. He has a 6 force there. That's what I would have done. Wow, he goes 2 on 2. Wow. Or two on one, sorry, I didn't mean to say two on two. Two on one, he went. But he could have just came from the six force and could have rolled three dice versus around th two dice. He could have almost lost that there. Which would have been just stupid. So that switches things up here for me. <clears throat> what I might do is actually... I have an idea what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get my card here in South America. And uh, maybe open the doors for the options of taking South America eventually here. guys out of uh, Europe there and I might even be able to bring that force down to South America eventually here or just get my cards so swinging on the green here I gave him the easy one option here and Iceland if he wants I mean, regardless, he could have came over to to White's one. Anyways, but... Okay. Big bad red. Strong Australia. Yikes. I 
probably get his cards and like bring them down or something. So red going Kamchaka to Mongolia there. <clears throat> He's gonna bring Alaska to Kamchaka or Alas Alaska to Mongolia, no. Nope. Brings it Mongolia. It's on to white now. Yeah, White must be going for Europe here for sure, he's thinking. Green's probably going to move out for North America. I wonder if I should take Africa here. It actually might even make more sense. I, I know what I'll do here. I'm just going to go for my card here in Ontario, but that's brutal. Wow. That's brutal. Oh my god. It's not even worth it. It's probably not even worth it to lose the... Th I just lost my reinforcement there. And for what? I could have just left them there and deterred and went for Africa. That's okay. What happens? That's alright. I'll bolster my forces up in South America at least. I'll get those guys down. But now I give green an easy North America. Not an easy North America, but an easier North America, you know what I mean, by doing that, but maybe I need to do that because red's slowly going to just get huge having Australia every turn. I feel like you always want to know the stats here. How many troops? Who's got the most? Red's got the most. Um... I mean, he's got a strong Australia right now. Wow, I'm... Okay, that's good. That's really good for me. I'm surprised Green's dedicating all his... Like, he could just... I'm... I'm so confused. Why wouldn't he just go 7 to 1? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe green players thinking. Yeah, no, yeah. What? I, that's so funny. I thought he was going to go for green line for sure. What? That's the most unorthodox play I've ever seen. Like, I, you would think that he would go <laughs> to Greenland with that force and then have a border there and then come over with this force. Oh. Man, does... I, I, I'm so confused. It's like he has a personal vendetta against, like, white or something. 
I mean, I guess he attacks red there, but it's like, why the... Oh, what? Man, that is the craziest play I've ever seen. So unorthodox. It makes no sense. So many losses. How many troops does he have now? He lost so many troops. 23 now. And Brad ha White has 10. Well, look at Green now. He's just like, he's got North America still a little bit here. Oh, great. So red. Go ending his turn here. So it's swinging on the white whose green has just taken off the map. I think if I was white here, I'd trade in, honestly. Too late, though. Uh, like how many troops does he have? 11 for 4 stars now. Or 12 for 4 stars. I'm going to go per Peru to Venezuela. Sorry, uh. Sorry, I want to do, uh. Five and three here. I'm not going to take South America just yet. Just because red might be able to trade in here. So I don't know what green's thinking here. Probably North America, right? What? Personal vendetta on white? Guy? What? I'm so confused. North America's wide open for him. It's just with easy ones that he could just get be working toward this continent. It's very unorthodox. <sighs> Swinging on to red here.
So White finally trades in here. Wow, white and green really are having this personal battle or something going on here. So it's swinging on to me here. I'm going to take South America once and for all here. And they just end my turn and fortify in the north and go nine and seven here. Or I guess nine and nine if you include Central America, my two there. Man, green should be focusing on his North America here, but. This is madness. Why would green do that? Strong 17. Uh, see, this is madness. This is madness. Oh my god, he took the gamble and almost paid off. <laughs> That's disgusting. But, like, what's the point of the. I don't understand the point of this, you know? This is madness. gonna go for my dice roll for uh, from South Africa to uh, Central Africa get stomped big uh, six defensive die come on there we go There's basically no reason I did that. Just to mess with my opponents or red a bit. There's no reason I needed to move that whatsoever. No. This is crazy though. Look at these guys. This is madness.
This is crazy. Red's putting a Middle East force there. This is madness. Look at these guys fight each other the whole time. So what I'm doing here is Nice, lose them all. That's okay, too. Swinging on to red here. Oh, he's really locking his force there in the Southeast Asia. Because cause Red's locking his troops like that. What? I'm going to do something next. I'm going to do something here. Green is so foolish because... um. So what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to trade in for 25. Huge trade in. And uh, I'm basically going to secure what is rightfully mine. So basically, green's gone now because he had some sort of personal vendetta on. I 
I'm gonna take North America here because I can. Hopefully I don't get a lot of losses here. That's what I really, I don't need a lot of losses here. It's okay, I got a plan here. So I'm gonna go for a very aggressive play here and taking trying to take North America. I'm gonna move this seven up here. I'll have a very strong defense. And now green can't do anything. He's got three. What's he going to do? Oh, it's green AI anyways. I forgot that green actually left. So now it's swinging on to red. And he's going to have to trade in. To try to break me here is what he's got to do. Wow, he lost huge losses there. Nice. So I mean, they can't do it. No one can do anything to break me. So what I did is I played really aggressive there because I knew no one could break me there. Wow. That was the grossest thing I've ever seen. Swinging on to me. What I'm going to do is I want to hurt this Middle East force as much as I possibly can. Oh, it's brutal. Take two losses right off the big up bat. That's not good. Nice, here we go. One and one all day. I'll take one and one all day till till we dwindle. I just really want to dwindle this force here. That's what I'm talking about. Double kill. Nice. There we go. See what happens here is see how th Red's 30 force is he can't he only can attack here. So if I took this, if I took Middle East, he would I would unleash his 30. But what I can do here is actually just take him to one. 
What I'm gonna do is leave Middle East alive. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out here. Bring that one out, Madagascar to Central Africa. And basically, basically, even if Red trades in for a big amount, he'll probably be able to break me. But his 30 force is still kind of caught. in Australia there, or by Australia. Swinging on to red. Swinging on the white here. Wow, X I just realized that's blue. Man, look at look at blue right now. The Grand Armee, seventy three troops. Look at that. Right now, I'm in a very dominating position. Red does have uh, ten stars though. Getting a whopping 13 troops here. That's huge. But Red's got his trade in coming in. Attack 
Sorry, I'm just thinking out what my best move is here. Sorry guys, I'm think uh, you know what I'm, I'll do it. do something like that 25 and 8 I just really want to protect that border there I don't really care if they break Africa here I guess maybe I should have threw something there just so I could there you go reds 30 is free though so anything can happen now Shoot, that's like the worst thing ever. Red's 30 is free. And he's got a massive trade in. So Red's thinking here what he's got to do. Maybe Red's thinking he can secure Asia here. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think that's what he was going to do. He might break me North America and then break me Africa, but then secure Asia, maybe. Yeah. I think that's what his thinking is. Well, maybe he's going to take out green here as well. He's probably going to break me here in North America. What? He's going to be like, what's going on? He's going for white. Hopefully he loses a lot. That's all I'm hoping. I hope he, he I know he's going to break me, but as long as like 10's there, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a weak force there. That's good. That's okay. If he comes into me, that's fine.
Oh, I see I have two viewers who just tuned in. Tuned in at a good time. Red just traded it on me. I mean, I did ha I did have three continents, so I was kind of greedy. So he traded and broke me. But he's probably going to break me in Africa here too. But this is completely okay. I do have quite a bit of stars myself, so... That's totally fine with me. <laughs> That's totally fine with me what he just did. Hilarious. Watch this. Look exactly what I do here. Gonna bring them all back to Southeast Asia. This is perfect. White's just kind of being a nuisance here. But that's okay. He's more just staying alive here, so he's not worth anything. So it's swinging on to me. I'm gonna trade in here. I get 15. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take back everything he took from me here. What I'm going to do yet. Oh my god, I suffered like four losses there. That was brutal. It's horrible. That's okay though. Oh, I'm gonna bring them all there. You know what I'm going to do. I'll move those up there. Leave that 25 force there. <sighs> Maybe I should have moved from that 25 force now that I'm thinking. But I think I should be okay. I should be able to hold it. So I'm swinging on to red now. See how I just slowly took it, took, took back my North America, and see how he's. <clears throat> he can't break. He can't break it. White's still here and he's playing very smart by just being building up his troops. So 
I'm swinging on to white now. Crazy thing is he could break me here, but I just keeps building it up. So I'm going to take Africa here. Just because I think I actually can hold it here. You know what, I'm going to risk to hold it here. We can bring this one up to North Africa. So the hilarious is it's still four players. Green AI is still alive here. So I think I should be able to hold Africa here. I'm playing a very different style of playing as aggro. I'm playing very aggro, but I have the momentum. I am worried about white a little bit because he keeps building up. But if I can hold this here, I think he's going to try to break me from Middle East. But if I can hold this out here, I might have some huge momentum on my side. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. He's got to go for the break here, right, With from that six. I'm basically forcing him to do that. Oh, he's going to take green out of there once and for all. Oh, I think green has... I just realized that green has three stars here. Oh nice, and white can't take him out. So I'm just going to bulk up around the world here. Um, actually, maybe I will do 20 there. Uh, what I'm going to do here, though, is... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out green here. I'm going to take uh, green stars here for sure. I'll just go fast battle here. Defeated. 
So I eliminated Gree for th three stars here. I really got the momentum in my court here. Uh, I just thought about it. That three and two force has been here forever since the beginning of the game. So what I want to do here is maybe I'll just I'm gonna fortify here. Just want to secure maybe that border there, but that's good. I got. A lot of stars now out of that. So basically, I put red in a big pickle and I'm doing it on purpose because he has to break me. He has to break me, Africa. He has to break me everywhere. So that's what I'm thinking he's going to do here. He's going to break me. And that's okay. I want him to break me because I want him to hurt me. Oh no, he's actually going to be smart. He's going to come around and hit my 23 force. The funny thing is, I don't even care if he breaks me as long as... Even if he broke me to North America here, um, I'm really okay with that. Oh, he's going to go north. Of course he is. Nice. That's good. I left that three there. And this is completely okay. He might not even be able to break me. And even if he does break me North America, that's completely fine because I have eight stars here. And he can't even do it? Yes, and his for that force 20 force is done. This is perfect. This is awesome, actually. This is this is so perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is perfect. White's gonna... Oh, br White's gonna break me too. Oh, this is even more perfect. Well, it doesn't matter because I was gonna break him anyways. Wow, red rage crits. You know I have him in a pickle. It doesn't matter. What, are you gonna break me, White, and you have nothing? I have eight stars. I'm gonna just eliminate White off. It doesn't matter if he breaks me everywhere. Notch, I'll retake this. This this whole attack is going to be completely futile anyways. But White's doing what he has to do. He has to break me because they have to slow me down somehow. I've been getting so greedy and no one's slowing me down. So I've been playing aggro this game. Just because I've... By Red putting all his troops in Southeast Asia gave me way too much freedom over the world. I'll check this. Obviously, I'm going to trade in for 21. And I'm going to have a total of 30 troops because I still have Africa and many territories. But White had the right idea by um, trying to break me. But Red just rage quit because he knew at that point. He just gave me too much freedom. He just gave me too much freedom in the world. He had such a... Wow. Like, he had literally the best hand dealt to him, too. He had Australia from the beginning. But by, by him keeping all his troops in Southeast Asia there... 
didn't mobilize his troops and just like literally that's what i'm saying he just gave me too much freedom over the world too too much freedom Oh, what did I do that for? Because I want to bring... Oh, that's okay. No, it's okay. It doesn't matter. The game's mine anyways. But I kind of... I messed up there. I didn't want to do that. So what I could do... It doesn't really matter at this point. I can just... So I'm just going to finish him off here. This is what I would do anyways. Because I wouldn't free... He's got a... F Five star trade in, but he's gonna trade, but he can't use that 25 because they're stuck in the Southeast Asia. So he's just gonna try something, and then I'll I'll have four continents in the most of the world, and I'll I'll annihilate him after this turn. That's the thing; he can't even do anything. He's done. Wow, a lot of losses. I seen someone join the stream. I uh, joined in at a great time. I'm just about to take the world. Well, I guess it's not a, a good time. But, um, feels nice to take down a W here. And, uh, I think the lesson from this game, though, um, I'm going to be throwing this game up on YouTube as well. And the lesson to learn from this game is you never want to give anyone too much freedom by even he had Australia the whole game it doesn't matter he gave me too much freedom in the world and eventually I just exposed his exposed that by um, basically uh, just taking the world taking South America and North America very early in the game being com so greedy and that's the thing I was just being so so greedy and uh, the thing is, Red wasn't doing anything. No one was doing anything about it. And that's why I was being greedy. I realized that my players were virtually kind of soft. Um, that They're not soft, but not aggressive. And, um, and Red played very conservative. And it, it really kind of... He played conservative in a bad way. You can't play conservative if someone has two continents really early you have to break them you need to stop that momentum and what my opponents did was let me have too much momentum on him and basically i just took the game that's the lesson to be learned if you re reviewing this how red was moving his troops and sorry my control controller died there for a second when you're moving them all in the Southeast Asia like that or just keeping them back, you're really just giving your troops no mobility over the world. And that was really the problem. But all in all, taking down a W feels real good. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, to the to the Twitch stream. I, I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing more risk videos all the time now. Uh, I don't have a scheduled time exactly, but uh, catch me on. You'll see me. Um, and if and if you missed the str uh, the stream, then you can always check it out on YouTube. So, uh, I'm I'm just trying to think what I should call this one. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna call this video, but it was a good win. Um, I'll probably think of something good. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning into the stream. 
and uh, make sure you check it out on YouTube as well. And uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys like the risk videos, uh, comment. Please tell me how you guys feel about it because I, I feel really energy energized and I want to come back and go hardcore in the risk and um, bring some more videos for you guys. So, yeah, no, I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. And uh, have a good one. Peace.